Prepositions of place in, on, under, next to. Welcome to our lesson on prepositions of place. Prepositions are small words that show the relationship between two things. Today we will learn four important prepositions of place. In, on, under, and next to. These words help us describe where something is. Let's start. Preposition. In. What does in mean? In shows that something is inside a space or container. Examples of in. The apple is in the basket. The cat is in the box. The toys are in the drawer. The fish is in the tank. The clothes are in the closet. Practice with in. Look around your room. Can you find something that is in another thing? Here are some sentences to help you practice. My books are in my bag. The cookies are in the jar. The letter is in the envelope. Preposition. On. What does on mean? On shows that something is touching the surface of something else. Examples of on. The book is on the table. The pen is on the desk. The clock is on the wall. The plate is on the shelf. The hat is on his head. Practice with on. Find something in your room that is on another thing. Here are some sentences to help you practice. The laptop is on the bed. The picture is on the refrigerator. The keys are on the counter. Preposition. Under. What does under mean? Under shows that something is below or beneath something else. Examples of under. The cat is under the table. The shoes are under the bed. The bag is under the chair. The rug is under the coffee table. The ball is under the couch. Practice with under. Look around and find something that is under another thing. Here are some sentences to help you practice. The dog is under the porch. The backpack is under the desk. The pencil is under the notebook. Preposition. Next to. What does next to mean? Next to shows that something is beside or close to something else. Examples of next to. The lamp is next to the bed. The park is next to the school. The chair is next to the table. The supermarket is next to the bank. The car is parked next to the house. Practice with next to. Find something that is next to another thing. Here are some sentences to help you practice. The phone is next to the computer. The plant is next to the window. The dog is sitting next to its owner. Practice activity. Let's do a practice activity together. Look at the picture. Imagine a simple room with a table, a chair, a bed, a box, and a lamp. Answer the following questions. Where is the book? Answer. The book is on the table. Where is the cat? Answer. The cat is under the bed. Where is the box? Answer. The box is next to the chair. Where are the shoes? Answer. The shoes are in the box. Where is the lamp? Answer. The lamp is on the table. More practice sentences. Try making sentences with an on, under, and next to. Here are some examples. The flower is in the vase. The remote is on the sofa. The dog is hiding under the stairs. The bicycle is parked next to the fence. Now it's your turn. Look around your room and make your own sentences. Summary. Let's review what we have learned today. It means inside something. On means on the surface of something. Under means below something. Next to means beside or close to something. Prepositions of place help us describe where things are. Practice using these words every day. Look around and describe the position of things in your home, school, or office. Homework. For homework, write 10 sentences using in, on, under, and next to. Here are some ideas to help you. Find things in your kitchen. Look at your living room. Think about your classroom or office. Example homework. The milk is in the fridge. The picture is on the wall. The cat is sleeping under the sofa. The backpack is next to the door. Practice using the prepositions of place in, on, under, and next to. The cat is on the chair. The book is on the table. 
The keys are in the drawer. The shoes are under the bed. The lamp is next to the sofa. The pen is in the pencil case. The picture is on the wall. The dog is under the table. The vase is on the shelf. The box is next to the door. The phone is on the desk. The cookies are in the jar. The car is next to the house. The chair is under the table. The ball is in the box. The laptop is on the bed. The plant is next to the window. The cat is under the chair. The glass is on the counter. The clothes are in the closet. The book is next to the pen. The cat is in the basket. The milk is in the fridge. The remote is on the sofa. The shoes are next to the door. The bird is in the cage. The keys are on the counter. The dog is next to the tree. The socks are under the bed. The pizza is in the oven. The picture is next to the window. The towel is on the rack. The bread is in the basket. The cat is next to the dog. The hat is on the shelf. The book is in the bag. The chair is next to the table. The bike is under the tree. The phone is in the bag. The clock is on the wall. The ball is next to the chair. The cat is on the bed. The dog is in the yard. The fish is in the tank. The magazine is on the table. The cat is under the sofa. The pen is next to the notebook. The shoes are on the mat. The plant is in the pot. The toy is under the table. Prepositions of place are very useful. They help us understand and describe where things are. Remember to practice using in, on, under, and next to every day. Soon you will use them easily and correctly. Keep practicing and have fun learning English. Thank you for joining this lesson. See you next time.